What's up my wholesome lifers? Welcome or welcome back. My name is Kira. Today we're gonna to be going through a vegan grocery haul for beginners and I'm really excited because I remember how overwhelmed I used to feel buying groceries and at the store and trying to read food labels and just being very overwhelmed. So I'm hoping that this video can just kind of ease that for you and make you feel really comfortable when you're shopping and kind of understand just like the basics of what you need as a vegan and what you should really be grocery shopping for. So it is Monday today and usually we buy groceries on Monday. So we just got these delivered from our local grocery store here. And I wanna go through everything with you and answer all of your kind of common questions that I get about groceries. And make sure you stay until the end because I'm gonna break down the costs of everything. And spoiler alert, I don't think that being vegan is expensive. I think that if you follow a whole foods plant-based diet, can actually be really cheap. Without further ado, let's get into these groceries. We wanted to go over everything in detail for you guys to show you what a typical grocery week looks like. And just let you know a few details because lots of people don't know things like bread. Most bread is vegan. Most pasta is vegan. And just like how you can read labels on cans and stuff to make sure that everything is vegan that you're buying. Um, so, okay, let's start from our produce over here. Got some kale. I always love buying some greens, whether it's like spinach or kale or kind of leafy green, broccoli, etc. So, so good for you. And then I always like to buy, usually I get cilantro, but we still had a little bit left. So I decided to get some basil this time. It'd be so good in some pasta dishes and different things. And got some cauliflower. I love to freeze cauliflower and put it in my smoothies. It's such a good vegan hack to just get more veggies in and also just makes your smoothies really creamy and delicious. But otherwise probably we'll use this for cauliflower wings this week. Um, and some stir fries, yeah, we'll see. Some frozen veggies as well. Lots of people, lots of people don't know that, or they try to like only buy fresh veggies, but they go bad so quickly. And frozen veggies are really great to have on hand just because they have the highest same nutritional value as fresh, except they're super more convenient and they're just really good to have on hand for when you're feeling lazy you don't want to chop or wash any veggies, you can just use frozen. So we got some peas and edamame. And these edamame are the ones with the shell off. I just love, I love edamame. They're so high in protein, they're so good for you. Just bananas, you can use this for nice cream when they're frozen and just use them like in smoothies and for everything basically. <laughs> some potatoes, carrots, some garlic, onion, Mushrooms, of course. I love buying different kinds of mushrooms. These ones are setas or like oyster mushrooms. You can also do like king oyster mushrooms or there's just so many kinds and they have such a nice meaty texture. I love using mushrooms for things. Probably gonna try and make some oyster mushroom chicken this week with these and see how it goes because yeah, I just love, I love these mushrooms so much. And then for some sauces, we got just a tomato sauce. I think we already have another one. Usually we get some coconut milk as well to make like some creamy pasta sauces with, but I uh, just got this because we still have coconut milk. And yeah, like most sauces are vegan. If you do look at the ingredients, you'll see, okay, well, it's a little confusing because this is in Spanish, but it'll say like contain They'll say like contains versus may contain. And so this one just says that it may contain gluten. But as long as it doesn't say that it contains milk or it contains eggs or like milk products, then you're good. If it says may contain, then that just means it was made in the same factory, but it's just like for allergens, but it doesn't actually have it in the product. Okay, and for protein, we got lots of tofu as usual, as we love for our tofu scramble. And I'm actually gonna be making a few different tofu dishes this week and show you guys some cool ways to use this. And for other, yeah, we got chickpeas and then we still have lots of dried chickpeas. 
I uh, sorry, dried lentils, and then this giant bag of soy curls as well. So we still have lots of that protein because I know people are always wondering how vegans get their protein from. So there you go, that's how. Tofu, lentils, chickpeas, and soy curls. And what else for some seeds and nuts? For that category, we have some flax seeds. I love buying them whole like this and then just grinding them up fresh. And it's actually a much better nutritional value for you because when you buy them pre-ground, most of the omegas are like come out of it somehow. So fun fact for you. And also got some Brazil nuts. These are really good for your daily dose of selenium. If you eat two, if you eat two of these a day, then it's perfect for your selenium intake. And pasta, we got some, one of whole wheat spaghetti and one of whole wheat fettuccine. I always buy whole wheat because it is so much higher in protein. Let's see for this. Okay, so there is 10 servings in this package and it says per serving there's six and a half grams of protein. So there's 60 plus grams of protein in this package. And yeah, it says 10 servings, but I mean, probably I eat like two servings maybe per meal. So yeah, so much so good compared to like white pasta, which has like zero nutritional value, zero protein. Definitely always go for the whole wheat. So good. And then for other grains, we got some oats so we can use these. I can grind them up and use them as oat flour for like coating the cauliflower wings in, or I just like having oatmeal for breakfast or making like desserts with these. Also in our smoothies, we love ground up oats in our smoothies. And then finally we have our bread. Again, I think it's so funny that most people don't think bread is vegan, but this is just a natural sourdough. It's also multigrain. Um, yeah, so good. And then just got some tin foil because we are running out of that. So basically fully stocked for the week. We will be all set. And all of this came to a thousand pesos, like a thousand Mexican pesos, which is 75 Canadian and 55 US dollars, 44 pounds or 51 euros. So pretty solid for two people for the week. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you love this video, you are gonna love some of my easy vegan recipes. I'll link my favorite playlist here for you. See you guys there.